here today and we're going to do a little session focusing on shoulders and back. So join me. Find a, um, a place somewhere on the floor if you've got a mat or just somewhere where you've got a little bit of space around. Nice and easy ones. Come lie down at first. There's a few different ones too. Come lie down. <laughs> So we're just going to start with a really nice one here. You're going to go bring your arms up, cross them across, and you can grab hold of the elbows or near the elbows or have them a little bit further apart if you like. That's fine. Whatever works for you. So you're just going to have them here so elbows are in line with your shoulders and just let them fall to the left side. So let that elbow, left elbow fall down towards the floor, bringing the right one with it. So it's going to help pull across the body and really stretch through the right shoulder blade. Now if it feels a bit uncomfortable to look up here, it might be more, uncom more comfortable to look to the left side, um, the way the arms are falling. to help as well. And then just lift that one up. And then guess what? We're going to go the other side. So just letting the right elbow fall towards the floor. Pulling the left arm with it. Relaxing the shoulders down towards the floor. Eye gaze can go with the arm or just looking straight up. Just relaxing through the feet. Relaxing through the legs. Stretching the arms above your head, pointing the toes, stretching along through the body, really, really feeling your, your whole body stretching taller, and then just relax. Okay, do that another time. Stretching the fingers, spreading the fingers, spreading the toes if you like, and then just relax. How was that? It was pretty good, wasn't it? I like that. Okay, we're going to actually come up, roll over, using your hands to help push you up. Okay, over on the hands and knees. Okay, so from here, we're just going to do a little bit of cat-cow, okay? So, cat is arching the spine, hands are under the shoulders, knees are about shoulder width apart here, and you're just going to stretch. Crunch up your back, suck it in, and arch the spine. And then allowing the spine to come down to cow, and then we're just going to lift the head up a little bit. So that's our inhale. Okay, so let's get some breathing going. Exhale to cat. Exhale to cat. 
whistle through the mouth. So sitting back, having your feet out, actually let's just move our knees out a little bit further away from one another. I'm going to put my toes, my big toes together and I'm going to sit back into child's pose but with wider knees. Just if, if that doesn't work for you, have the knees in closer. And we're stretching out the lower back here. And we're just going to stay here for a second. When I say a second, I mean a little bit longer than a second. <laughs> for a little while. Relax into that. Hands can be wherever you like. I'm just going to rest my head on my hands here. child's pose, but what I'm going to do with my arms further out in front, so I'm going to stretch through the upper back here. As I stay there, just feeling more of a stretch through the shoulders, through the back. Child's pose and just walk your right hand across the mat 
and just let it touch your other hand, come across the top of your other hand. So as you come, as you, you might need to come up a little bit to do that, to come across, and then you just allow yourself to sink back down. So we're still in child's pose, but we're getting a lovely stretch down the lats, to the muscles down this side of the body, on the, on the right side. Good stretch in there. back to center and using the hands to push yourself up again okay rolling up through the spine and then coming up onto the knees so we could do the camel one again you're going to join me <laughs> okay thumbs to the front hands just around the hips shoulders forward shoulders back then i'm tilting my pelvis tilting up forward really Embracing the core here, it might not look like it, but um, keep this nice and tight. Okay, nice and tight to the core, shoulders back, really squeezing through the butt, through the glutes. As we do that, stretch of the back, holding up there, looking up a little bit, and then coming forward. Into child's pose again, arms out to the front, counter stretch. Counter stretch, lovely. And just coming up on the hands and knees, and from this position, we're going to, I'm going to get my left arm. And I'm going to lift my left arm, I might even lift it up to the side here, that's fine, my left arm. And I'm going to bring underneath, through the hole there, through the window, and then bend my right arm and allow my left shoulder to come towards the floor. As I'm doing that, I'm sitting back on my heels, just getting a stretch through my shoulders here. Now, if you feel that's enough, you just stay there. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult or a little bit more to it, you walk your hand above your head, go on the fingertips here, and push up through that elbow to get a little bit more, a bit of a twist through the spine, if you want to do that. But I'm just going to stay here because I'm finding that's fine for me. That is fine. Today, that's just right. So relaxing. Try to relax into it, let that shoulder really fall. And we're going to come up slowly and we're going to do the other side. So, right hand comes up to the side and then bend. as it comes through, I'm bending my left elbow, allowing my right shoulder to come to the floor and I'm sort of sitting back on my heels a little bit. If you want to add the twist, go for it. You just bring the hands above the head and then lifting that left elbow. If you don't want to, that's fine. Just stay with me here. Relaxing into that shoulder, really stretching out through it. Again. 
coming back here, stretching out with the arms out the front.
Excellent. Okay, now do this one. Shoulders come up towards your ears. Squeeze them up and then just go. Okay, just let them go. Okay, you have to make as much of a big noise as you like when you go. Okay, so lifting up, squeezing them up towards your ears, scrunching them and then release. Do that again. Up we go. Squeeze them up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And Okay, upper back stretch, hands at the front, shoulders back, shoulders forward, coming over a big beach ball, sucking in the belly, rounding round, leaning forward, stretching the upper back, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Really feel that stretch. Nearly done, come back, well done, shake the hands out. Okay, reaching up with the arms, reaching up, looking up if you like. Inhale, exhale, away. Inhale, reach, thumbs towards the back wall. And now, thumbs towards the front, in, exhale. <laughs> Inhale, reach up and exhale, down. Roll the shoulders again and bring the hands to the front and give yourself a clap. Well done. Thanks for joining me for that session on shoulders and back. So I'll catch you next time. Keep it up. These are really good ones if you've been on a computer, if you've been sitting still all day. But anyway, hope you have a great day tomorrow and all the rest of the day and I'll catch you next time. See you.